Hey everybody, Shelby from Wood Expressions and American Chess Equipment here to show you how to use the Quartz Chess Timer. This is our model number 094007. And this is how it shows up. I took it out of the plastic bag. It comes with two red stopper tabs. It comes with a battery. They usually don't come with Duracells. They come with batteries from the factory. I just like using Duracells. This is the clock that I have at my desk and the clock itself. Now, to get this clock to where you need to, first of all, you have to stick in the battery. So you turn it over, you peel off the battery case, stick the battery pointy end up on the top, and then you slide this in and make sure it sits all the way in there. And then you stick the battery case door back now, if you look, you can start the clock. Now, to stop the clock, put both plungers down the same amount. You notice how they're at the same height. And then you stick it down. Now, I'm going to adjust the height and show you exactly what to do on this clock. Now, what we're looking about doing is setting this game up for a blitz game. A typical blitz game is a five-minute game. A lot of people have trouble with the quartz clocks because some people have trouble reading an analog dial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. Now, games should always end at midnight where both hands are on the 12. So if we turn the clock around, we see these two knobs right here. Let's get it up close so you can see them. Right? And you're going to use those to adjust each side to where both the big and the small hand are on the 12. So we make sure the clock is set correctly and everything is going to run smoothly. So what we do, set both these on the 12. I'm of the firm belief that clocks, you know, these clocks should always run out of time at midnight. Some people say six o'clock, but all right. Now, let's say we want to do a five minute blitz game. So what we would do is we would back the clock off to where the large hand is on the 11. And then the clock is ready to play. You would place the clock at the chessboard. If I was playing the black pieces, I would start white's clock by pressing this button down. Now, if you notice, this clock starts to run. He would make his move and then with the same hand he moved with, press his plunger. You notice that stops his clock and starts mine. Okay, over the course of the game, you can either get checkmated over the board, or what happens is you start to run out of time. I'm going to use the knob on the back to advance this. If you notice, you see the flag right here? It keeps on going up and up and up the less time that you have. And when you start to run out of time, and right when you're at the you know last 30 seconds. So I have this set, so in 25 seconds, you know, I'm going to run out of time. Now, if you run out of time, it's just like you got checkmated. So what'll happen is this will go up, and when it advances, so both the hands are on the 12, the flag's going to drop. And when the flag drops, the game is done. Okay. Now, if you look. One and the flag drops. Now, technically the game is done. I lost on time. It's like I got checkmated. Okay, so what you would do is even out both plungers. That's what these are for too. If you want to cheat, you can just stick these underneath. And these do the same thing as evening them out. So this way, when the clock is in the box, it's not running and you're not running down your batteries. Now, one tip that I tell everybody that has a quartz clock is, if you're not gonna use the clock for a while, turn the clock over and do yourself a favor. Take the battery case off and pop the battery out. Batteries are notorious for ruining clocks. The batteries that come with this clock are nickel salt batteries. So essentially what's going to happen is if you leave them in the clock for an extended period of time without use, they're going to end up corroding. So if you take the battery out, it's not gonna happen. Now, when you stick this back in the box, you know the clock can't run, it goes right back in the box, 
make sure it's done correctly. Put the battery up on top so you know where the heck it is. And then it stores perfectly. Okay. Hopefully this is helpful to everybody that's watched this. Again, this is Shelby Lorman from What Expressions and American Chess Equipment. And this is how to use a quartz chess clock.